so we just saw the right auto join so in in before 7.4 there were a restriction of nine table joins and nine sub queries but with 7.4 and above you can have at least 50 tables so whether you'll need this capability in all your real project or not we are not sure you might never need it but it's good to know that you can join and have sub queries up to 50 tables so next in line is the boolean function before 7.4 uh, whenever we have to set a flag say if the country is this and the time zone is this then set it as x or else it is keep it as blank so you have to declare a flag uh, at, and use it later on but right now uh, with 7.4 you can directly use a function which is called booolc let's see with an example we'll do the same thing what we have been doing till now so we'll just come in, come in this part and then write our own part, new part in the top. I'll make it number 14. And then I'll make it as boolsy or boolean function. So how do we do that? So we'll we'll ask check for a condition. Say we say we want to do a select and uh, PO. PO is I'll I'll show you what is a PO. So PO is EBLN, then we'll go PO, uh, say EBLP, then we have PO. Say we have Matner, uh, we also have PO, uh, you know, it plant is also there. Then we'll take some numbers say, in order to do so. What should be number? We have been taking uh, this guy every time, and then we'll join it with a plant. So I'll put a plant as works, then we'll take a uh, plant address. Uh, let's say we'll take land one, that is the country, and then region. So just for the sake of uh, explaining this here into we'll do what we'll do tell me we'll do an inline data declaration i'll name it as li yeah li i can depart the sort of po and then oops i tried to try and then we'll do an inner join join t001 ws plant sorry we have to do form right from ek ekpo in you know, this what is this red symbol we have to give a condition where you want to do the inner join works equals to plant works so we'll do this because uh, i'm not giving a where class because i know oh, what is this crying for wrong table name po works Join this as plant on works equals to plant works. Your works on what is wrong here? Let's let's try that thing again. Activation failed. Okay, so we give a wrong table name or ls name. So because we did not give an ls name here, so you have to write as po, right? So you have to tell the system what is a po. Still is crying. What is it saying now? Plant works is unknown. LS is plant. Oli coli. I have given a dash here. So see, so this this is how we learn. And now there is a null character. Where did I do that? Select components called works already exist. Already exist. Where is works? Okay. Here, here. See, we have plant works we do not want this works because it's already there right so you have you have written here and you have written so, so this is the beauty of uh, teaching you with writing the code on real time so i don't want to copy paste so that you know what mistakes i do and you also learn from others mistakes right so now let's for clarity i'll just loop and you don't do this in your system because you if you have more um, huge number of po and plant then your system might keep on churning so i know in my test system there are just 10 to 11 PO, so it is okay. For your case, you can give a where clause here. All right. Let's write loop add li PO into, into data. I'll say, what I'll say? LS PO and then full stuff and loop. And now I give a check this Boolean function. So if BOLC, this is the function. Now I can write here a logical statement. Say I'll say LS BO. Um, I'll say that I have the, the quantity, right? Quantity number is greater than 5,000. 5,000. 
and or any number and ls say i want to say any state so i i live in texas so equals to texas uh, so if this statement if we'll see uh, this one equals to true true means above true or you can say if equal to x then you want to write something say and if i want to write say uh, write say I'll, I'll use my favorite concatenation so po i'll say po number ls po um e b e l n po um what do you say you give anything is is very risky because it is more than five thousand so you is, let's say that you are a small business and if anything greater than five thousand you have to say it is very risky so let's see how many risky po you have i have looped here now let's test it i'll do f8 so we have just one PO. So out of all the POs which I have in my system, only one of them is risky because this is from Texas and it is greater than 5000. So what else my Boolean condition? It is great. It should be in Texas and it is greater than 5000 and it is a risky PO. Maybe in Texas people with who has PO with 5000, they may not um, pay you or some, something like that. So you can mark it like this. So it may be Texas, it may be any country. So based on that, you can do this. So earlier we had to put this into a local variable say equal to l lv flag equal to this so you earlier used to write if this is equal to this uh, and this is equal to this then uh, lv flag is equal to x and then you said if lv flag is equal to x then you write this but now you can do this boolean functions at the same time so that's the beauty so i've written here one line you can extend it to multiple lines so if if you can write again if you can if you want if i say else if we will see so I'll, I'll just copy this time so if it is say greater than 5000 and this is dex then we say it is a uh, let's say what do you call let's say it's called um it's sensitive so let's say if it is greater than 1000 it is sensitive else let's give one else it's a it's a normal people right I'll just copy this guy else PO is normal see so in so in this case oh what did I see that statement is not testing I do not have a full step so this is wrong full step should be outside now I do need a bracket actually. right so now let's test it so I do have eight so this is your output so you have very sensitive very sensitive very sensitive and then rest all are normal see so if it is greater than 5000 then it's very risky where is the risky part where did it go so the risky part i found that it is at the bottom okay this is the one po which is very risky so let's see the tables also just to make sure see um, there was the field our field was okay this guy so anything which is greater than 5000 means this guy so this is a very risky PO because it is in PA and it is more than 5000 so hope uh, you understood how to use the boolean functions all right so this is the new function which you can use BOLC